Hi everyone, I am SV and welcome to my channel. Today we are continuous create our game inside Unreal Engine 4. So for everybody, in present moment I use version 4. Point somewhere here should be yes, as I remember. About no, it doesn't matter. I use a version 4.21.1. In present moment, this is the latest version. Uh, okay, what we will do today? I am going to pawn, and as you remember, I have a life. I have 100 life, and every time after collision, where is my collision? Somewhere here. Every time after collision, I lose 25 points. It means I can collide only four times, and after that should be game over. But in present moment, I haven't any game over. So I show you now what I get. Uh, I start jump, we are going, and we are not over jump at drums. So drum number one, collide, and nothing going out. I mean 25, 25, 25, remaining only 25. I am jump and, okay, it's stop it. It's stop it, game is paused. We are check when life is zero, game is paused. But I haven't any widget and I haven't nothing. For this reason, we are create some, I don't know, some options. So I am going down and I create new custom event. Custom event. This event will be with name uh, game over, something like this. Okay, then I'm going here and I take this one. I make a cut and put it inside paste. Okay, I have game event, I have it here. So, but here I all time have to call this event. Game over event, call function. Okay, I just reduce this line and put this information down. Uh, finally, nothing change. Every, uh, any time, uh, after uh, lose four times, 25, 25, 25, and 25, I will get this result. Game going to pause. But I like, I don't like to receive game to the pause. I like to receive some widget. Uh, for this reason, we are going to our widget folder and we are create new widget. If you are, don't know how to create game instance, uh, loading screen, quiet game widget, something like that, everything what you are saw it now, just, uh, Go to my previous tutorials and check it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, do not miss my next tutorials. Okay, right click, user interface and widget blueprint. So it will be game over, something like that. We are going inside and what we will do. So like I told you, I already create some game over some high score, your score, and I already create some play and quiet or exit. Okay, will be quiet. Play and quiet. Uh, idea is coming this game over. Then I'll get information, high score and my score. Uh, if you don't know how to create these points, just check off my tutorials. Some of my tutorials I showed you with uh, Adobe After Effects, how to create these points. Uh, it's very simple, uh, just proceed and check it. So you have you have to create like this. Two points play, normal points and preset points. Two points, two buttons quiet, normal and preset. Then you have to create something like a high score, something your score, game over. This is just the pictures and, and I think that's all. So. When you are finished with these elements, uh, you see the yeah, size. This is um, 512 for 256. All this for this, I make a size 896 for 1 to 8. And this size 1024 for 258, just for your information. So we are going back to our um, widget game over widget we are safe and we are start first of all we are create uh blur you remember this special effect blur we are put it here so then we are going to blur we are going to anchor point and make it for full screen something like that now i make some blur 10 for a moment i use like this 
Again, I make a blurring of the game. Then we are create some image. Take image and put inside. So now I have this image and this image will be, just a moment, I select this image, will be somewhere here on the middle and I put it somewhere here. So what is the brush? Brush will be game over. I'm going down, I'm check composition. Where is this composition game? Ah, okay, I didn't copy that one. So I have to import it. I take this one, right click, copy, going to folder with where is my game. Again, as you remember, we are create tutorial game, going inside, we have this content, going inside to texture, and here I put paste or insert, doesn't matter. We have these files inside. So going back to Unreal Engine and I have import seven textures. Okay, it is done. It is very fast because it's not so big size. Uh, we are going back to game over widget and now I already have this game over. This game over. Oh no, sorry, it's high score. Your score game over, something like that. So what size? As you remember, I make 24, 1024 and 256, something like that. Very good. And put it somewhere on the middle. Somewhere on the middle. Exactly on the middle will be something like that. Very good. So maybe a little bit pick up, something like that. Yeah, very nice. I have it. Then I add one more image. This image will be somewhere from the center. I go in here. Center, why it's not working, I not understood. Okay. Uh, size of this image will be, as you remember, 896 for 1 to 8, yeah, something like that. And this will be my score. I'm going for composition. Yeah, your score, something like that. Uh, I don't remember where it's exactly middle, so I'm going for calculator and I use uh, 896 divided by two. I will get 448, it's mean this my value should be 448, something like that. Okay, very good. Take one more image, put inside canvas panel, like before, select it, put somewhere down, make an anchor point on the center, make a size, and put new image, which will be high score. This one, high score. Yeah, don't forget, yes, you have to use a alpha channel to receive like this result. In other way, you, you don't, don't reach it. Very nice. Then I take bottom because here I like to use a play again and here I like to put a quite a game. So take bottom, put inside canvas panel, take this bottom and put somewhere down. So anchor point will be this angle, something like that, because from this angle I start. Okay, what size? As I remember, it should be like this. It will be very big button. Uh, and what we will do for normal, we are use a composition play you see green will be not not pressed but if i'm going to hover it if i'm going to hover it it will be pressed and also image yes don't forget to change all time for image this is very important if you use image and for press it will be same composition press it and also image very nice something like that I don't know if it's possible, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Yeah, it's, it is possible, very good. So I have it and anchor point will be from this side. Okay, normal will be this. Hover it will be this. And press it will be this. And size. 5 to 1, no, it's too much, 5 to 1, 
and 256 something like that okay and put somewhere in somewhere in proper position so maybe it will be 50 and this maybe will be also 50 just to receive one high and maybe a little bit here maybe a little bit something like that so more or less i get some results this i like to pick up a little bit more on top uh, very nice so i received some widget your score and high score here i need put some text so i little bit increase i take some text and put this text inside canvas panel inside here take it and put somewhere here so if my score have anchor point on the center for this text anchor point should be also on the center after that going here and make like this size so from side to side and little bit up after that going and 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 make justification oh very difficult word on the middle okay after that increase size i i check which size i usually use mm, i think i use a 80. okay looks like very nice so pick up a little bit more something like that and go in here and this text change for for example for numbers i don't know i use usually 88 just to check how it will be finally 88 mm -hmm. so maybe i also use mm, I also take not bold, I use a light to receive this light. And here will be bold, maybe like this, doesn't matter. So, and also color. So select this color, take this tool and push somewhere here and push OK. So it means my text will be exactly with same color of this picture. Please make same with new text. So take text, put inside. Uh -huh. it is somewhere here drag and drop make anchor point on the middle put this text something like that very good also size 80 also put text block 88 just to receive some result and don't forget to put in middle something like that okay now we can pick up it to see where is it will be finally okay it's good position and i think it will be very nice this is will be not bold and this will be a bold very nice also color select color take this tool and check this color very nice so we are have this widget and it looks like very nice compile go back to my pawn and now set game on the power set after that we are uh, create widget widget create widget we are take game over widget okay add this widget to viewport something like that and when this widget will be inside in viewport we are remove from parent where is this yeah remove from parent and target which widget we are remove from parent we are remove game widget from parent as you remember we are select here yeah not not here yeah game interface widget when we are create this widget we are create some um, variable yeah so here we can use this variable it's mean when this widget game over widget will be created game widget with interface will be removed so we will check and what is going on now we will see so jump wait i have to touch four drums okay one two three and last one four very good i have new widget and i have quiet and play for a moment not working uh it's me now we will now we will start to play and what i don't like i don't like this bold bold text i don't like it so i'm going to game over select it and make it not bold make it light 
So I think now like this will be more beautiful. Okay, so if I put a quite, if I put this quite, I am going down, I am going to click it, and I make a quite the game. That's all, very simple. But if I press a play, I am going down. If I press a play, I have to start again my level. So how to do it? Every time when I push this button, I start my level. As you remember, we are create game level. Yeah, so it means how to start it. Level. We are use open level. Inside open level, we have to put again game level name should be exactly same like here game level if you put like this letter small big small again so inside in the widget should be absolutely same start game level when i start game level i have to remove this widget game over widget from a parent remove from parent something like that so check what i get we are start play we have to wait a little bit yeah it will be four drums doesn't matter we are wait we have time so one two three four i have this widget and if I put quiet, I am going out. But if I put play, start again, widget and my level coming from beginning with zero score, with full life and with full stamina. So, quiet. Hope you understood what is going on. Okay, <clears throat> what now? <coughs> Sorry. Now I like to make some animation. So what kind of animation I will do? Um... Uh, First of all, I like to make, I'm going to canvas panel, create, and it will be, it uh, doesn't matter, new animation one, really, it doesn't matter. So my animation will be only two seconds, not one second, two seconds. Uh, why like this? Because in beginning, I like to receive this information, game over, your score, high score. And after that, I like to receive, after one second, I like to receive to this, um, how is calling, to these points. So, we will see. Uh, we are going to last game frame, last one. We are select this blur and make it 10. We are select this image and make this position. Where is it now? We are select this image make it like this, this image, keep frame, this bottom, keep frame, this bottom, keep frame, text, keep frame, and one more text, keep frame. So now we have keep frames for all, all, all my object, which I have here. Okay, what we will do now? Now I am going to one second. I am going to one second. And for example, um, I like to put these buttons on the side. So I select this button and put somewhere here. Just a moment, too much, somewhere here. And of course, keyframe. Take this button and put somewhere here little bit more game frame if you have experience with adobe after effect you know how to animate it so it's, it's really very simple after that i take this score put somewhere down something like that and make keyframe then i take this score put somewhere down Mm -hmm. and make key frame uh, maybe I will put this text 
just a moment we will see yeah this is text and this score this text i put inside in this score okay i cannot do it i cannot do it doesn't matter so it's mean i have to animate it manually maybe somewhere i have mistake but it's it really doesn't matter put somewhere here keyframe and select this put also somewhere down and make keyframe so what i have like this op and i have some information but before that before that i select also game position will be game over will be this keyframe i am going to position zero and put it on the middle somewhere here yes also what i make i make some alpha so on channel zero it will be zero then i take mm, maybe not like this yeah so i take this image put one for a moment where is this image image zero i open this image zero and my canvas this one i delete okay and color and alpha opacity i also delete for a moment i just put manually to one so give me to check give me to check and to understood how i like to make it just give me a little bit time so this i also no need okay mm -hmm. yeah i put somewhere here but this game frame i put on the middle like this after that here going on one and make it zero game frame so how it will be look at this how it will be when i start animation it will be like this game over and then move like this looks like very nice also from beginning i am going to my blur background i make it f f like this going to blur background on zero k frame it will be of course zero but on one k frame one second it will be 10. Mm, it should be zero why it's not coming zero zero okay now i think it's working okay very nice very nice so it's two seconds i'm going to event graph and as you remember i have this event construct every time when i construct this uh, widget i will play some animation play animation which animation take here and as you remember it's animation number one something like that play animation save and check what i get okay now we are try lose four drums to receive some result and if it's working my tutorial will be completed we are wait a little bit okay drum number one so if you like this game if you like my project subscribe put like share with your friends and game over and some score and looks like very nice so play again coming game and if i put quiet i am going out from the game okay thank you very much for watching i save a project and see you next time goodbye friends